So the first thing you want to do, double click into your SolidWorks, although I already have it up. Um, so once that loads up, you are going to create, you're going to go to File, New, and if part is highlighted, you're just going to click OK and wait while SolidWorks loads. Um, the first thing you want to check first and foremost is whether or not you are in imperial units, inches, pounds, seconds. And so you, by, to do that, you go down here, uh, click IPS, and see if indeed you are. And uh, once that's all set, we're ready to start um, sketching and making 3D models. So the first thing you want to do is click extruded boss base. That's the first feature you're going to do. So this toolbar is all for features or things to do with 3D, uh, 3D modeling. The next uh, ribbon is called sketch and this is anything in 2D. So these are little sketches in 2D that you will be um, using to create 3D models. So these are the two ribbons that you want to be very familiar with. Um, so to start, we're going to go to Extruded Boss Base. And now you're presented with planes. So you have a front plane, a right plane, and a top plane. Um, for this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so we'll choose a front plane. Um, and just to give you an idea of where we're going, I'll open up... Uh, Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Here we go. So this is what we're going to be making. Um, something similar to it. Um, so this is your basic car body. Um, and this is actually going to snap into the chassis that you'll be making with Mr. Rose. Um, and so this is this is just going to be the shell basically, the shell of your of your car and it's going to snap right on. Um, yours is going to be a little different. I'm going to let you guys sort of create the top part, but everybody has to have the same uh, base because we're we're making the same chassis for everyone. Um, You'll be making the same chassis, uh, but the top piece, will you'll be able to um, use sort of your creativity. Another thing is we will not include uh, this front and rear bumper um, out of plastic. It'll just have this uh, top piece here and uh, the bottom that clips. Because the only thing that clips into the chassis is going to be these uh, two um, ridges here. That's going to be what... Is gonna clip in um, so yeah let's get started Okay, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is click Extruded Boss Base, um, and we're going to click the front plane. So click Extruded Boss Base, and then it, when, it, when you're going to click something, um, it's highlighted. It highlights it with an orange rim usually. So click it, then it brings you right into the front plane. You're going to go into Sketch. It should automatically be there, and then we're going to start with a line. So we're going to start with the line and then by clicking it and then now you're in the line function so we're drawing and you're going to go to the origin so where that orange um, node is you'll see like that yellow with the green that's called a snap that means it's going to snap right into that uh, origin. So the next thing is we want to create a horizontal line 
And notice how it snaps also. Like it, it, when you get to almost zero or 180 degrees, it wants to bring you there. And that's you want that horizontal line. And it also has a marker next to your pencil there too. Um, so click. Doesn't matter how long you make it. We'll we're gonna dimension it after. So click about right there. And then to get out of the line function, you're gonna hit escape, which is the top left key. So ESC, so escape. And now you're out of that um, function. You're, not, you're no longer creating lines. Notice how this uh, line is black, right? That means it's fully defined. And what I mean by that, it, it has enough parameters set on it to um, be an object in space, to be a known object in space. So we're going to smart dimension this, and uh, the dimensions I'm giving you are, so are, we've, I've already worked them out, so they're not just arbitrary numbers. We've worked them out so that they indeed do fit your um, chassis. So we're going to click this line, anywhere on the line, after you click smart dimension, click anywhere on the line, and then pull out the dimension. And when you pull it out, just click anywhere, doesn't matter, and then the modify box will come up. And this is where you're gonna set your length, and we're gonna make it 3.66667, um, and that's for three and two thirds of an inch. And then we're gonna hit enter, and we have our first line. Okay, so we have our line, it's fully defined, and then we're gonna keep moving um, from the line. So I'm not gonna dimension each part, I'm gonna wait till the end to dimension them, um, just cause it saves a little bit of time. So I'm gonna click on the line, I'm gonna click this point. So to zoom, um, if you want to zoom in somewhere, you basically it follows wherever your mouse is in the middle scroll so if you scroll bringing the wheel towards you it's gonna it's gonna zoom in but it zooms in where your mouse is if it, if you want to zoom out you just push the wheel away from you so if you want to zoom in over here right you have to move the mouse and zoom in if you just zoom in it's gonna go wherever the mouse is Okay, so zoom in here, and I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create a vertical line. And again, it doesn't matter how um, long I make it, I'll modify it after. So I'm gonna make a vertical line, then I'm gonna make another horizontal line. And notice how it snaps. So there's these, these snaps and dotted lines to kinda guide you where you're going. So I'm going to make another vertical line, another horizontal line, and I want it to be uh, the same size as where this is. So I'm going to I'm going to move it to where that um, dotted line snaps, and I'm going to click it. And same thing over here. Click, and then click to complete it. Notice how it grayed out the object. So. When it grays out the object, this means that you can create a 3D model out of it. It is a full shape. So you can only create extrusions with, full, with shapes. So this is a shape. So now that you could actually create this and make it a 3D model, but we want to put on the correct dimensions first. So we're going to go to smart dimension and then we're going to go down to each line and, and make all of them, um, the dimensions that I'm going to tell you. So click this line, and again, it doesn't matter where you put it, just put it somewhere. Um, and we're going to have this 0 0.15, 0 0.15, enter. And then we're going to click the next line, <clears throat> and we're going to make this one. And you don't have to put in inches or any sort of abbreviation. It automatically assumes you want inches. So one is fine. So one, enter. And then we're going to go to this line. And this is going to be point 
point three five enter and then we're gonna go to this line and with this I'm gonna do something a little bit different I want uh, two-thirds of an inch and instead of putting the point uh, six 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 seven I'm gonna put in one and then over on the calculator side of your keyboard put it put the plus and then two forward slash or divide three so it's one plus two-thirds enter and that gives you that gives you the actual two-thirds amount and you can do other functions um, with measurement too on this um, but that's good for now so I'm gonna click now I'm gonna click this uh, line and this is gonna be 0.35 we want things symmetrical and then um, I want you to notice something I'm gonna go around I'm gonna put this 0.15 but notice, right? I it's a, it wants to make this dimension driven. You do not want to make your object dimension driven. Okay, so when if you ever if this ever um, happens and you don't you don't want um, what's happening, just click cancel. Okay, and that'll get you out of it. Um, so dimension dimension driven um, makes it involves parametric equations. Um, you can make parts that um, will be defined strictly by dimensions. We don't want that. Um, so, because this that is 0.15, right? That that is it has to be 0.15 because all of our all of our geometric constraints right now would make that happen. Um, so from there, we're just going to click exit sketch because we have all the. Um, all the measurements required and notice how it's all black there's no blue lines so that means it's fully defined so I'm gonna click exit sketch and it uh, tilts it in an isometric view and it wants to start pulling it out uh, so we're gonna extrude our shape um, by going to this depth so it says 0.1 inches we want 1.875 inches and again units it automatically assumes and then I'm gonna hit enter and notice how it pulls it out uh, 1.875 inches you can change the direction if you want so if you wanted it to extrude uh, backwards right you could you could um, toggle it that way or you can just toggle it this way for us it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna click I'm gonna check it off Okay, so once you have uh, this tabletop looking um, thing, you're going to we're going to uh, cut out the middle. Remember, uh, the middle is where we, we want the um, the chassis to be grabbed. So I'll just show you. Ooh, not that one. Right, it's going to be grabbing along here. Right. The, the chassis is going to grab in these two cuts, so we want to. We're going to want to cut this out. So go back here. All right. So now, um, and how I'm moving this around is I, you can actually click in your wheel. So click in that wheel in the middle of your mouse, hold it, and then you can you can turn it all around. If you get it out of if you get it oriented in a weird um, spot and you don't really you don't really want it over there and you're having trouble you can always just come into view orientation um, and you can actually you can click this and this big cube shows up and you can click on the outside of the cube and it'll zoom into that certain face that you want or you can actually click down click this downward arrow and it'll show you a bunch of different faces that you can draw on. Um, I like working in 3D space so I, I'll i typically have it crooked a little bit just so I can I can see it a little bit better or what's going on but if you want to do like something fine or minute details you might want to zoom in to a certain face. Um, so we're gonna cut and so click cut so so features go to features and then extruded cut 
and then we're going to want to cut here. We're going to cut it in on this um, face. And to get a better view of the face, I'm going to click this region. So click this region, and it'll zoom in. So this is the top part of the table. This is where you want to make your cut. So um, I'm going to create a line. And notice this middle midpoint. That's what you want to snap to. So when you go down around the edge that you want to uh, draw on, because we want to draw on this edge, this, this midpoint should pop up. And then that yellow with the green, that's the node that you want to snap on. So you're going to snap on there. And then you're going to go along. You're going to go along this line again with that yellow snap. You're going to draw it up. And then again, horizontal snap there. And you're going to go beyond, you're going to go beyond the midpoint, snap there, snap there, and then snap there. Again, this is a uh, shape, so we can uh, extrude it. We can extrude cut this, but we don't want to yet. So we're going to go to Smart Dimension, click the top, we're going to put in 1.25. Um, so we didn't want, I didn't want that. So what, what we actually want is these, these two legs to be exactly half 1.25. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to create this leg, put in 1.25. So since I don't know 1.25 divided by two off the top of my head, I'm just going to divide it by two. And now it's directly in the center, right? Because if this is 1.25 and this is in the distance between the middle and the end is half of that, then this has to be half of that also. So if we were to drag this down, again, you're going to get that dimension driven um, and you don't want that. You're over defining your sketch. Um, and then from there, we're just going to click exit sketch. And you're going to, um, so you want to cut it through this entire object. So to make sure that you're cutting in the right direction, um, you're going to click down your middle scroll to see where you're cutting. And indeed, you are cutting in the correct direction, right? You can change the direction just like in extrude. So you can, you can change it to cut out, but you don't want to, you want it to cut in. So you want it, you want it like that and you don't want it blind you want to cut through everything that's in its path so you're gonna cut through all and then check mark and just like that you have you have the base for your car